on a desktop and this is how it will look on a tablet sorry desktop okay so it's looking beautiful so we have this section we have this image section descriptions and all everything's working fine this is what we have worked so far so this is our discover navigation help center notification we have our button and profile okay this is the first component which is a hero section this is the services section we have worked on and this is the biggest slider component which we have created in the last video so you can easily able to change this data of this component dynamically okay all the data is changing so it's 100 percent responsive okay you can change the data and this is the footer section nice over effect we have discover menu help center menu and this is the email subscription okay and so in this video we're going to create this email subscription form okay you can see that we have divided this section in two parts one for the information and second one is for the image and then we're going to build this category okay so this is the category section we have okay so let's come back to our code editor so here i have already opened the project in my code editor and here you can able to find all the folder and files which we have worked so far so in this we're going to create that email subscription form so let's have a look what we have done so far and if you're watching this video from right from here you haven't watched that previous video so make sure you watch those video because in that we have built all this component in this com in this video we're going to focus only for the subscription form okay so inside the component we have all these section we have created all this component we have created hero section nav bar in that we have all these small component for the nav bar and close this one in this this is the services one this is the component index so in this file we are importing all the component okay close this one close this one and this is the image in which we have all the images pages this is the index page we are importing the component and rendering on our home page okay so let's close on this one and let's do one thing so let's start working on our email subscription form so let's create a folder for that so we'll create a folder and we'll call it let's say subscribe okay simply copy create a file called subscribe.jss and create one more file called subscribe click on that subscribe.module.css okay so this is going to be our subscribes component type rafce and import the CSS file let's type style and the file is coming from the same folder okay so this is our subscribe component now let's come to the component index and in this we're going to import that so let's import the subscribe component and simply export it default export copy and simply paste here and make it default export okay so in this way we can easily able to render the component okay and now let's go to this pages and here we have to import it, the subscriber component and now we have to simply pass here so we can easily able to display on our home page so simply save it and come back to the browser and here you can see our component is displaying on our page so subscribe it's working fine simply come back to the code editor and simply close this one and now we can start working on our actual subscription form okay so now let's import couple of icons so import and we want to import the ri send let's call it plain fill and that's coming from react icon slash ri okay let's import image and that's coming from next.js so that's the external import now let's do the internal import so we're going to import the images and that's we have dot dot slash dot just inside this image folder okay so that's the external and internal import now what we can do let's simply remove this and let's start working on our jsx part so we'll take a div it will have a class and we'll say let's say subscribe okay small in that div we'll take another div it will call style subscribe dash box and we'll take another div it will have a style dot subscribe bot left and in that we're going to render this h2 tag and we'll call it never miss a drop and here we're going to take a paragraph and simply come here come back as you can see it's working fine now go to the actual application the complete one and simply copy the text copy and come back and paste here okay so this is our paragraph now let's take a div div it will have a class called style we'll say subscribe box left box in that 
we'll take a span and we say h1 sorry 0 1 and here we have to take a small tag in that we're going to display the message get more okay so that's the one component and we'll call it discover okay simply copy that and simply change this to and you can change the message to let's say premium discount or you can call it something like a magazine so that's for the data part now let's come down and here we're going to take another div it will have a style we'll call it let's say subscribe box left bar left uh, input okay and in that we're going to take that let's say input it will have a type to let's say email and it will have a placeholder and we'll say enter your email will come out of that and we'll take a take the icon okay let's save it and it will have a class also dot subscribe left input icon now we'll come down and here we're going to take another div it will have a class called style dot subscribe box and we'll call it right and in that we're going to display the image okay we'll take the image tag source is going to be the image dot and the image we have is this update up alt it will say let's say get update it will have a width height let's assign 600 and width is going to be the 800 okay so that's the all the j6 part we have written for this okay so let's come back to the application and here you can see it's working fine we have the title we have the paragraph we have the short info we have the input and we have the image so everything's working fine no error we have so far so let's come back to the code and now we can simply start styling this okay so let's make it side by side so you guys can see what we are working on so let's come down and here this is how it will look on a mobile device now let's zoom a bit and let's start working on it so we're going to copy this subscribe and we're going to start with that so subscribe width is going to be let's say 100 percent and subscribe box is going to be let's say with 80 percent we'll count on margin zero auto we'll call them padding eight ram and zero display is going to be grid grid template column one point fr and two fr align item center so this is how it will look subscribe box left h2 will make it font size is going to be 1.2 ram so min device width is going to be 320 pixels and max device width is going to be let's say 768 pixels so we're going to target the subscription box width is going to be 90 percent and grid template column is going to be 1fr and gap is going to be 4m so save it and that's the media query okay simply replicate that and change the here simply change this to 768 and this will become 1024 so that's the second media query why it's not working and here we have to change this to repeat to 1fr okay so that's the second media query let's and as you can see it's working fine our media query is working fine on a mobile device looking perfect now let's come here up and let's make it 300 little bigger and line it is going to be zero let's come down we're going to target the subscription box p and it will have a font size to 1.2 ram we'll take this subscription box left box and it will have a display flex a line item is going to be center gap is going to be one ram and margin top is going to be two ram so this is how it will look let's come down we'll take the subscribe box left box small and font size is going to be one ram font width is going to be 700 pretty cool We'll target the box left span and this becomes the background color is going to be our icon color. Okay. 
pretty cool and we're going to assign a color itself it's gonna be our main color okay bg color padding is going to be let's say 0.5 ram and 1 ram from left and right and border radius is going to be 2 ram and width is going to be 4 ram text a line is going to be center okay save it let's come down target the box left input margin top is going to be let's say 3 ram so we'll have some space padding is going to be 2 ram and 2 ram let's remove it too and width is going to be let's say 80 percent border radius is going to be 4 ram so this is how it will look now let's assign a background color to going be our main icon color and we'll have a color itself is going to be main this is how it will look nice background color we have now let's say display is going to be flex a line item is going to be center and let's come down we're going to target the box subscription box left input and input itself so background color is going to be let's say transparent we have the border zero outline is going to be none width is going to be let's say 90 percent and that's pretty cool and let's come down we're going to target that left input and input placeholder so placeholder and we want to change the color so we'll tap this main bg color and font size is going to be 1.2 ram so that's pretty big and beautiful let's come down and we'll target that subscription box left input icon okay we need to increase the size so font size is going to be 2 ram oh little big beautiful so that's looking pretty cool so we are done with the css part let's scroll all the way up and let's have a look one more time so let's come in the media query in the first media query and here we're going to write the media query so first we're going to target that let's say left input okay and we'll say width is going to be 100 percent on a mobile device that's pretty cool and padding is going to be one ram okay that's looking awesome and let's come down we're going to target that subscription box left h2 and we'll say font size is going to be 2 ram that's look good okay that's looking good let's come down the second media query let's target that box left input and this time we're going to make this to same 100 percent width and and this will become padding is going to be 1 ram and box left h2 is going to be same font size to ram if you want you can even break this component into a separate component and use it okay but i will go in this way so that's the media query and looking perfect on mobile device let's make it a little big it's 100 percent responsive you can see let's make it on a big screen and it, on a desktop and this is how it will look on a tablet sorry desktop okay so it's looking beautiful so we have this section we have this image section descriptions and all everything's working fine everything's working fine so that's cool so we have come back to the code and make it full screen close this one close this one come here close the open the terminal and simply stop the application from running and now we're going to upload the code to the github okay so let's delete this git file folder and simply delete it permanently and we need to initialize git so git in it add open the browser open github and here you will find all the codes click on new repo and i'll type nft marketplace so here you will find all the codes so if you're watching this video for the very first time so make sure you come to the repo and check the articles in that we will find all the source code all the templates everything about this project okay so let's call it subscribe hit enter come here copy this and initialize the copy the branch and hit copy the address and now finally copy this and push that so this will take a little bit of time just give a moment So it's loading, 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 loading. So finally, we are done with this. So we'll clear a terminal and come back to the GitHub and simply reload the browser. And here you will find the code is there. Click on this component sections and go to the subscribe section. And in this, you will find the code we have written in the subscribe component. Okay. So if you're stuck anywhere, make sure come and 
simply compare the code don't copy and paste okay because because finding bug and refactoring code it's one of the great skill okay which you have to learn so let's close this one and let's come back to the project so this is what we have built in this now let's come to the original project so in the next video we're going to build the reusable title component so you, you can see we have this component browse by category below we have this category options so that's what we're going to build in the next video